हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लीन कोडर यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर 347 टॉप के फ्रीक्वेंट एलिमेंट्स सो दिस इज अ लीड कोड मीडियम प्रॉब्लम एंड अ वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट क्विकली सो इट सेज गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे नम्स and an integer k return the k most frequent elements you may return the answer in any order okay let's uh, see this example so we are given a numbers array 1 1 1 2 2 3 and k2 k2 means we are only supposed to return two most frequent elements so uh, from the input we can see that one has frequency 3 Two has frequency two and three has frequency one. So the most frequent is one and then is two. So if we are supposed to return only two entries, then one and two would come in the output. So example two uh, is similar. So let's uh, check the constraints. So uh, it says uh, the numbers dot length should be between one to ten to power five. Okay, and k parameter k is in the range one to number of unique elements in the array. and it is guaranteed that the answer is unique and there is also a follow up comment mentioned and it says that your algorithm's time complexity must be better than of n log n where n is the array size now let's check different different approaches which you can give in uh, interview setting so this is the sample example uh, i have uh, just explained this is the nums array this is the k equals to 2 uh, this is the frequency and this is the output for that example so just for better understanding i have written that example here uh, you can check this out a uh, little bit so now let's move to our first approach brute force which you can uh, give in interview so it says uh, what you can do is you can sort the input array right you can sort the input array then you can iterate and put the element and its frequency in another array uh, basically auxiliary array okay so this you can do and then you can sort the auxiliary array okay and then you can return the top k elements right so sorting the input array would cost uh, big of o log n n log n and uh, iterating and putting the elements and its frequency in another array uh, ox would cost you uh, big of n again and assuming uh, d are the number of different entries obtained so when you will sort the auxiliary array the time complexity would be d log d where d is the number of different entries obtained okay now you are returning the top k elements from that auxiliary array so the time complexity for this step would be o of k so the overall time complexity this is the heaviest step so this would be uh, o of n log n and the space complexity would be o of n now let's check another approach which is slightly better than this uh, with the sorting plus hash maps so what we are going to do iterate uh, numbers and make a frequency hash map for each element okay time complexity for this step would be o of n then uh, make a array of pairs key frequency pairs basically okay and sort that based on frequency so the time complexity of this step would be of d log d where d are the number of different uh, elements in the hash map obtained now then we can return the top k elements so the time complexity of this step would be of k so overall time complexity would be of n plus d log d space complexity is still of d so uh, you can ask the interviewer uh, are you supposed to do better than this and if interviewer says that uh, you can try to do better then 
uh, you can use a different data structure uh, which is heap which would uh, further optimize uh, this solution so you can use hashing with heap uh, which would give you the a good optimal solution so i'll go through this algorithm quickly so iterate the numbers and make the frequency hash map from them key key, key frequency basically so time complexity of this step would be of n then put the hash map key frequency pairs in max heap okay you build a heap from scratch and put all the entries of hash map uh, but the catch here is the key of the hash map is actually the frequency so in case of max heap the element which is most frequent would come at the top okay so we'll do extract max k times so we'll be able to obtain our answer let's uh, check the time complexity so iterating the nums would cost me of n and inserting on in hash map on an average is big of one operation so time complexity of this step is o of n and put the hash map key frequency pairs in max heap with key as frequency this step would cost you big of d time complexity d are the different entries in hash map and doing extract max k times would cost you around big of k log d time complexity so overall uh, the time complexity would be around we go of n plus k log t which is as good as uh, o of n if uh, these two entries are small and space complexity is big of d we are going to check the solution for this approach uh, in detail uh, the solution i have already submitted in lead code and this accepted solution and in the interest of time i have written this solution up front so that we can uh, understand this uh, solution quickly so now let's uh, check the solution line by line so top k frequent is the function given to us and uh, nums array is given to us and a parameter k so what we are going to uh, use is a hash map so i have taken a hash map uh, integer comma integer this would be key and this would be frequency okay so i have iterated my nums array and i have put each entry of array this hash map get or default is a good function which uh, compresses the number of lines of code basically what it does is if the entry for this key exists it picks its frequency and we are going to increment it by one and if that key doesn't exist then uh, it is going to uh, place zero for that and zero plus one one so that would get the frequency as one so basically we are going to get key frequency pair type hash map right so this hash map will get from this then i have taken a priority queue tuple like uh, i have taken a priority queue of tuples i'll explain the tuple class uh, briefly so this is a max heap based on value okay so tuple contains two uh, parameters key and value this is the constructor and i have added a compare to method uh, this will uh, arrange this heap based on value uh, the greater the frequency the more the element would be near the top of the heap so extract max would a would be able to pick that so this is the code uh, for tuple let's move forward so what uh, this for loop is doing is it is iterating the hash map and putting the entries of hash map into uh, our max heap so after that i have taken uh, array answer of k values because only k values are required in the solution so i have taken this array so after that i'll iterate uh, the for loop and i am doing doing a poll so poll is basically uh, extract max in case of max heap and i am putting the key in ith index and after that i am returning the answer so this is the solution uh, for uh, this approach so time complexity i have already written above this is the time complexity 
and this is the good uh, optimal solution which you can give and explain in the interview so uh, if you liked this tutorial and if you liked my explanation please please subscribe to my channel and please like this video thanks a lot for watching